Hello. One of the things I need to do today is make some ghee. So I thought I'd show you how to do that while I'm at it. So what is ghee? Ghee is clarified butter or butter that has been brought up to 260 degrees so that all of the milk solids can solidify and be strained out. To start with, you need some butter. Ideally, grass-fed butter is the best, but I just got a uh, food shipment from the USDA, and this is the butter they gave us. It's not, ideally, it's not what I would go to the store and choose to make ghee with, but it's what I have and it's what I'm using for ghee today. Ideally, you would choose unsalted. Here's the rest of my equipment that I'm using today. I have a candy thermometer. I have a bowl and a big strainer. I have a straining cloth. It's clean, really. <laughs> I've had this straining cloth and I've used it for jelly. I've used it for ghee. Look at apple stain your straining cloth. But I have probably used this same straining cloth for about 30 years. I wash it in a little dish soap, hot water by itself in the washing machine. And I just keep using it. And I also use a small strainer just to get the big solids so they don't go into my straining cloth. So the first thing that you do is you put your butter in a pan. You put it in the pan on really low heat that will melt slowly and cook the milk solids to where you can strain them. Put your candy thermometer in there. Keep an eye on it. There's no need to really sit and watch it. What your goal is, is to bring that candy thermometer up to 260 degrees. It also helps remove the water. And of course that only leaves the pure fat behind. Ghee contains CLA, conjugated linoleic acid, which has been found to fight cancer and cardiovascular disease. It's starting to make noise. Ghee isn't just for cooking. It's been used for centuries by Indian women, topically as a moisturizer. Applied topically to the scalp, it can reduce dryness and encourage growth of luxurious thick hair. Ghee is also a great alternative for people with milk allergies. Ghee contains plenty of fat soluble vitamins like A, D, E, and K. And it also helps their absorption into the body. The making of ghee technique originated in ancient India. Ghee contains anti-inflammatory properties. One of the benefits of ghee is that it lasts longer than regular butter. It's very shelf stable and can last up to a year unrefrigerated. Using ghee can reduce your body's exposure to cancer causing properties by increasing its smoke point. Ghee has a smoke point of 485 degrees, thus retaining its structural integrity when used for frying. Ghee contains vitamin E, one of the most powerful antioxidants found in food. So I did learn how to make clarified butter when I was in culinary school, but it wasn't until I started the Whole30 diet that I really learned it in another way. I went and found the Alton Brown recipe, which is pretty simply simple, just like this low heat, bring it up slowly to 260 degrees and strain, and it's perfect every time. In culinary school, it was a lower heat, and it was just melted, and then you poured out the top fat. But in this recipe and the way I make it, the ghee has a caramely taste. It, it tastes almost like candy and it is so good on everything. 
<laughs> I try to make two to three pounds of ghee at a time, which a pound gives you just about a pint. And then I date them and put them in the freezer. So I really only have to do it about once a month because it's so good. I don't overuse it. And remember to do this with caution because this is hot oil. That's not really as bad as it looks. I put hot water and degreaser in there and let it sit a couple hours and then it washes right out. Now I'm not gonna be able to pick that up and squeeze that cloth right yet. I'll have to let it cool down some more. How beautiful that is. I'll be back in a few minutes when it cools. Also, when I started Whole30, their big thing is don't put anything in your coffee. No creamers because, you know, it's non, Whole30 is non-dairy and non-chemical. And most packaged creamers are just that. A lot of chemicals and a lot of, of unhealthy dairy. So one of the things that, even though I'm used to drinking my coffee black, one of the things that I picked up a habit was taking the ghee and putting it into my coffee first thing in the morning. Getting that brain food first in the morning really makes a difference. Try it. Mmm. Yum. Isn't that beautiful? Once these are solid, I'll label them and put them in the freezer. <laughs> 